हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड ए प्रॉब्लम ऑन z ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर वी नीड टू फाइंड x ऑफ z x ऑफ z व्हिच मींस z ट्रांसफॉर्म इफ x ऑफ n इज इक्वल टू माइनस अल्फा टू द पावर ऑफ n u ऑफ माइनस n माइनस 1 बिफोर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड what is u of minus n minus 1 we can represent u of n as 1 so it is 1 for n value ranging from 0 to infinity for this if we perform u of n minus 1 so at that case we need to shift this waveform towards right side for one position so this will be at 1 to infinity so the amplitude of u of n minus 1 will be 1 itself now let us perform u of minus n minus 1 which means we need to take the mirror image of this waveform so we will get waveform like this so it is from minus 1 and it would be up to minus infinity so this is u of minus n minus 1 so which will be having the waveform from minus infinity to minus 1 now using this analysis let us solve the problem now we know x of z we can write it as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z to the power of minus n in place of x of n let us substitute minus alpha to the power of n u of minus n minus 1 so we can write this as summation of n is equal to minus infinity to infinity for minus alpha we can take minus outside the summation and we can write alpha to the power of n u of minus n minus 1 z to the power of minus n we know u of minus n minus 1 is 1 from minus infinity to minus 1 so here the amplitude is 1 from minus infinity to infinity so we can make this term as 1 so we can write x of z is equal to minus summation of n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 so we need to take summation from n is equal to minus infinity to minus 1 to make u of minus n minus 1 as 1 so we can write alpha to the power of n z to the power of minus n now to simplify our calculation let us change the sign of summation we will take minus summation of n is equal to infinity to 1 at that case we need to change the sign of power of alpha so we will write alpha to the power of minus n z to the power of n let us write minus summation of so instead of taking summation from infinity to 1 let us take summation from 1 to infinity so both are same so we can write this as summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha to the power of minus n z to the power of n now let us take a formula where summation of n1 to n2 a to the power of n we can write it as a to the power of n1 minus a to the power of n2 plus 1 divided by 1 minus a so this is a standard formula you can remember this and you can use this for any problem so this is valid only when magnitude of a is less than 1 since we are having the summation from n is equal to 1 to infinity a to the power of n we can write this as a to the power of 1 minus a to the power of infinity plus 1 divided by 1 minus a so always remember a to the power of infinity plus 1 will be equal to 0 if a value 
is less than 1. So this term will become 0. So we will get a divided by 1 minus a. We can write the above expression as x of z is equal to minus summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity alpha to the power of minus 1 into z whole to the power of n. Now let us make use of this formula and let us write this as minus of alpha to the power of minus 1 into z divided by 1 minus alpha to the power of minus 1 z. So this is valid when alpha inverse into z is less than 1. So we can write x of z is equal to minus of z divided by alpha. So alpha inverse we can write 1 by alpha. So we have written z divided by alpha divided by 1 minus z divided by alpha. So we can write this as z divided by alpha whole divided by if we take alpha as LCM. So we can write this as alpha minus z divided by alpha. So here we can cancel out alpha. So we will get x of z is equal to minus of z divided by alpha minus z. So this can also be written as x of z is equal to z divided by z minus alpha. So this is the z transform of given x of n. Now let us find ROC. So to find ROC we can make use of this condition where alpha inverse z is less than 1. So here we can write this as z divided by alpha should be less than 1. If we send this alpha towards right hand side we can write z should be less than alpha. So here ROC is less than alpha. Now let us draw the ROC. Let us take x and y axis. In x axis let us write real term. In y axis let us write the imaginary term. So here ROC should be less than alpha. So let us write alpha on x axis. Let us draw a circle with radius alpha and here ROC will be inside this circle. So here ROC is less than alpha. So this is the ROC for given problem. This is about problem on Z transform. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.